Well, we're here after the race on day three in La Cedonia, the qualifying Cellplane Grand Prix for Spain. And we had a great day today with a very good race. And the winner today, I'd like to introduce you, Tilo Honeyhouse. Tilo, you had a really nice day today. It was, it was very nice, yes. We had a lot of fun, yeah. Excellent. And I wanted to ask you first, Tilo, the, when you looked at the flight, when you saw the race court circuit that we had to fly, and you could see the height from which we had to start in Macedonia, what was your plan from the start? Well, I actually had two plans. One plan uh, was to go immediately 90 degrees off track back uh, to, uh, to the release point uh, to make height. Uh, that was actually the plan B. And the plan A was uh, to go straight uh, into the sun, uh, trying to catch uh, something more or less going directly to the first turn point. Uh, at two and a half thousand meters uh, over the valley, uh, should give you enough altitude to, to still be safe. And uh, I could see also the, the paragliders uh, flying there, so there was obviously lift. But it was so bad I didn't expect. So, uh, But immediately I found out, uh, fortunately, so I slowed down and, and, and really uh, took only one meter. And just to, I always tried to, to stay above uh, 2,000 meters because that's the altitude where, uh, where it starts to get difficult uh, uh, to continue the flight. And, and when you found that first thermal, it was on the slopes where the paragliders were flying? Actually, no. I was. Um, I, um, I flew together with uh, Peter Panik a little bit um, off the track towards the middle of the of the valley, and I could see um, that uh, um, the, the gliding was a little bit better. So there were, and I could follow the others or see the others that they are rather losing on the ridge. Uh, so the ridge was obviously not a good uh, um, um, uh, alternative. Uh, so after the turn point, I flew a little bit out and found um, over this this big mirror uh, thing um, over the turn point very weak lift was 1.2 and I said well let's just take another 100 meters uh, and, and and see uh, if you can make it high enough to get to the to the higher point over this little there's a nose in the hill and I wanted to be above this so I'm able to, to circle. Uh, there and that was actually how it worked and I, I found there a bit more than a meter later, one and a half meter and that gave me enough altitude uh, to fly back to the better weather. Yeah. I, I was flying and we were along with you guys at that point and it seems that the some of the uh, top pilots, some of the other leading pilots in this competition, they decided that they would go from the turning point all the way back here without stopping to climb or maybe they just couldn't find something, but I think they were probably pushing it a bit too hard. What do you think? Mm, I saw them. They obviously were uh, quite aggressive uh, flying forward, and uh, and uh, this is a little bit the Grand Prix flying. If yeah. one is f uh, uh, one feels chased by the others, and the other uh, feels being in a chasing position, and this leads to very often trying the riches until you're finally too low, and. Uh, uh, I, I could follow this and I said, mm, let's slow down a little bit and uh, um, although the plan was not too bad because the ridge was working, I, at least you, you did not lose a lot, and, uh, but it was uh, so difficult just before the opening of the gate, um, there was a big overcast and there was uh, uh, not enough sun, there was not enough energy, so I said it's maybe a little bit difficult and the distance is quite long to fly back into the sun. Um, so maybe it slows you more down uh, to be too low uh, uh, trying to find something there. And of course we saw that's what happened. They got back a little low, they didn't climb up and yeah, then they yeah. had a miserable day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well actually they were not too bad. So they found under the shadow an obviously quite good uh, uh, lift. I mean we were together and, uh, and it was this, this Lee uh, lift which was extremely broken and they obviously found uh, a fairly smooth lift. Um, um, not on the ridge, a little bit towards uh, the valley, and they were almost our height uh, of before we, we all left uh, towards the, the big black, black cloud um, on, on the next mountain. It seems that after that point, once the uh, once you got back up again yeah. and the convergence, the race was pretty much over because That's it was right. a question of really running it <laughs> and just not yeah. avoid not losing the convergence. Yeah, not, not quite. Um, I think uh, the key point was to stay high enough. I mean, once you found the conversion, uh, um, the, the uh, I mean, under this pitch black uh, cloud, I, I found more than four, uh, four meters. 
and um, and I went all the way to the cloud base. It was not so good. I mean, there was a nice cumulus cloud towards the, the turn point, uh, towards the antenna mountain. However, it did not really work out very good. So I, I always tried to, to stay. I, I never pushed very hard. I always only flew 180, 190. And, um, trying to be high enough, which was actually uh, quite important uh, because I was then able, um, I was to, uh, to, together with uh, Friedolin Hauser and he pushed a little bit more and, and, and he arrived under this, uh, coming back under the uh, uh, convergence, um, he was maybe 50 meters lower and he, had, he struggled a while until he finally got the lift and I got it immediately so that's why I was suddenly three, four hundred meters higher and then again um, flying to the, to the furthest uh, 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 easily uh, turn point. Um, I always tried also to stay high just to make it back um, uh, to the nice uh, convergence. And I was just high enough. I was, uh, um, I think it was Mike Young, I couldn't see him. He was maybe 200 meters below and he was not able to, to, to catch back to the convergence. That was just high enough to make it. So it was a good idea to, to fly slowly enough, start trying to stay high. Actually, this convergence was moving a bit over the valley. Um, you could see there were little puffy clouds, and then you could not really climb, but at least there was less sink. And that uh, gave me the altitude to make it back uh, to the convergence, and then the race was over. That's right. It's quite typical of the Sidania Valley that the convergence moves out as the shadow pushes the source of the yeah. energy down. Yeah. Um, Tito, when we go racing in Selbergs, yeah. Some days you do really well, and some days you do really badly. Yeah, every, everybody, all the pilots, everybody has I a bad you day. Me personally, yeah. but. <laughs> but I've noticed that it brings uh, terrific changes in emotion in people. Yeah. When you do really well, you feel really elated, mm -hmm. and when you do really badly, you can be really depressed. Yeah? That's right. Yeah. Do you feel really pleased about your days? Oh, today? absolutely, absolutely. Well, I, the whole contest is a nice one. I mean, uh, I came to here. Um, with uh, with the attitude to have fun and, and to fly. I was 25 years ago, I was the last time flying and having a lot of fun and I knew the area is beautiful and I said well if it runs good I can make the qualification uh, but that was only part of the, uh, the game. I wanted to, to fly together with, with all these, these great pilots who are here and um, and so I, I enjoy every day. Even yesterday I enjoyed a lot and it was quite sad that we couldn't fly, uh, which at the end of the day was a good decision to, to cancel the day. However, uh, uh, um, feeling this enormous amount of energy uh, here um, is, is really uh, worth the trip coming to here. And I just want to say one last thing. Overall position now, you're leading. You have one point in the lead. Does it feel comfortable? Well, I think at this time of the contest that doesn't mean anything because at the Grand Prix, you know it, uh, uh, everything can change so quickly and uh, I will fly like I, I flew before. I always try to be uh, fast and uh, uh, I will not relax and, and, and try to fly uh, technically. I will just continue having fun and uh, knowing that at the Grand Prix everything can change within one day completely. That's correct. Yeah. Thanks very much, Tito. Well, tomorrow is another day. We're looking forward to good racing weather the next two days. So, as Tito said, it's all to go for and it can all change yet. So we'll see you tomorrow, sgp.aero. Bye, everybody.